G'day, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be doing some work on this Coyote Pegasus, which is very nice. Uh, it's, a, it's a mate's car. He gave it to me to finish the body and um, do some wheel, do some work on the wheels. Basically, if you saw one of my last videos, I um, took the chrome off these Icarus wheels. As you can see, these are also Icarus wheels. Um, so I took the chrome off and um, clean them up a bit they're front and rears and uh, as you can see they come up pretty good anyway uh, what I did basically I put them in bleach to get the uh, chrome off and then after that they're still a little bit on the yellow side although they are meant to be a cream color so I put some uh, put them out in the sun wrapped in plastic with this uh, creme developer peroxide basically I put all over them and left them out for eight hours or so so they come up uh, much nicer anyway so what we're gonna do we'll swap the uh, swap these tires onto these wheels um, as you can see they are worn on the back they're secondhand tires the fronts look pretty good they might even be new I think um, but yeah the the buggy itself is uh, it's all new uh, as far as I can tell um, yeah very nice radio probably needs to be uh, put in a little bit better but I'll leave that for the owner <laughs> um, it's got a new speed controller of course and the uh, the wire the wires need to be connected to the motor actually they need to be extended as well but yeah he'll sort that out so what I've got here is uh, got a bag of stuff that came with it so there's a brand new body that's original <clears throat> so I've got to trim that paint it put the decals on and uh, there's a new wing and there's also a new driver and here we've got uh, oh, we've got the antenna new in pack <laughs> and we've got uh, the manual and in here there's some decals so we've got some New vintage decals. Hopefully the light's not getting that too much. There you go. And we've got the manual. So I can't mess it up. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, so I'll let you have a quick look around the, uh, the chassis. I'll bring the camera in and, you know, and then I'll get into it. As you can see, all looks pretty good. It's all brand new, pretty much, except for the tyres. Uh, we all know they're very hard to find, new. <laughs> anyway, um, so first thing I'll probably do is get onto the wheels, change them, and uh, then we'll get onto the paint. Alrighty, so the wheels have been swapped over. All looking very nice. Now, the hubs, the wheel adapters are chrome. So we need to get rid of that chrome. So I'll throw them in the bleach. And uh, come back in half an hour or so, and there should be less chrome on them, or none at all. <laughs> Alrighty, here we are, about half an hour later. Yeah, they're looking pretty good. The only problem is they're going to need some peroxide, I think. Check out the other side. Yeah, going to need some peroxide on the back of them. <laughs> That's alright, we'll get onto that now. So all I do here is grab a sheet of cling wrap, throw them on there somewhere, keep them separated, and that's about it. Use some of this stuff. You can use uh, a Ziploc bag if you've got one. I didn't have one, so I use cling wrap. Then we just tip some of this stuff on there. Oops, a little bit much there. Oh well. Normally I brush it on, but in this case I just tip it on. Then just wrap it up, and uh, Give it a twist in the middle, why not? Then <laughs> once it's all wrapped up, put it outside in the sun. 
and there's our hubs after being out in the uh, I want to say sun but there wasn't any sun <laughs> so they've been outside most of the day anyway they're a lot better than they were so now we can move on to uh, cutting the body out and uh, masking up Alrighty, so I've got the wing trimmed and mask ready to go and the body's all trimmed still needs a wash and uh, some masking need to paint the uh, the black around the roll bars there so I'll mask off the windows and the roof and stuff and I'll probably paint the windows with a brush um, just because it's simpler <laughs> uh, but fitting the body on I noticed that servo horn there needs trimming I mean it's uh, you know, it's quite fine over that side but the servo horn hits the body there so I'll take that off and uh, round it off here all nicely and cut that right off there and we should be right to go so now I'll go wash this and uh, yeah start the masking and hit it with a bit of black around the roll bar now masking a body, I just wanted to quickly show you some different masking methods. Now on the back window here, I basically measured it. And I put a bit of tape out on my cutting board there. And just uh, cut it out. And, uh, you know, round it off the corners a little bit. So that's one way you can do for, it's good for square windows and things. On the front, I got my uh, black pen, or texter, whatever you want to call it. And drew around the outside and then so i could see it from the inside so then from the inside run around the knife run around the edge with a knife there and trim it up and pull it off so it's another way to do it and this side i'm making uh, window masks so basically push the tape into the corners as far as you can run around it with the uh, the black texture and then then what i'll do there is uh, cut it off you know with the knife and this mask here will go on the other window on the inside of it and uh, I'll do the same for the other side or we could just measure them, whatever, trace it out but you know, just a couple of ideas there there you go, the, uh, all the masking's done for the, uh, the roll bars over the top and the back window so I'll probably hit that with the airbrush with a bit of black in it and uh, then we can get onto the white alrighty so for the roll bar, I'll be using this Proline uh, black paint that I can use in the uh, airbrush. Don't need to thin it, that's all great. So anyway, I've got the airbrush on, uh, on low. Basically it's on about 20 pounds. Um, I will do an airbrush video at some stage. <laughs> I know a lot, of, a lot of people have been asking for it over the over the time I've been on YouTube, and uh, yeah, it's probably time I did one. There we go. So we don't need a lot of paint, of course. Anyway, I'll uh, I'll hit this and see how it goes. So I'll just do a light coat in the beginning, you know, just kind of haze it on. Hopefully the masking's holding up. <laughs> Alrighty, we'll just get into it. Now I'll just leave that dry for a few minutes and come back to it, give it a few more coats. Alrighty, we'll give it a bit more. Should be good. <laughs> I 
Bit more paint. That should be enough for the whole job, I think. <laughs> A little bit more, but I'll give that a couple of minutes to dry first. Alrighty, we're looking good so far. Just need a little bit more black on the back window. I'll go over the whole lot again, just make sure it's properly sealed. Of course this is just the air I'm using now, I'm not using paint, just to help it dry. <laughs> I reckon that's it. We're looking pretty good. And there's even a bit of paint left over. <laughs> so that's pretty much why I do these things either by hand with a brush or with the airbrush. Because as you saw, the amount of paint I used out of this was just a matter of drops. It wasn't like half a can or something like you would use if you're using aerosol cans. Yeah, I think that's looking pretty good. A little bit of a bleed there. I can clean that up using the uh, the polycarbonate cleaner. That's all right. It's all looking pretty good to me. So I'll get the uh, get the masking off it. I'll leave the window mask on, of course, and uh, hit it with the white, and then uh, well, I'll clean this up before I hit the white, <laughs> and then we'll be ready for decals. So as you can see, I'm in a bit of a mess right here. Had a bit of overspray, some black overspray from the roll bar ended up on the uh, the other parts. Painted the white over it. Of course, you don't see it until you hit it with the white and then the black really pops. So I had to go and strip all the white around there. Uh, the roof in the back I left. Stripped all this and painted it again. So that's what the mess is. <laughs> I used some Tamiya paint remover. And a bit of Tamiya body cleaner. And a lot of uh, cotton cotton wool. <laughs> anyway, so that's done. The wing's done. And now we'll get on to painting the driver. So he's all trimmed. And I've started, I've masked the uh, visor. So on this we'll have to paint the visor black. And the, the helmet's going to be red. The body of the driver, his arms and he's got parts of his legs in there. That's going to be blue and his gloves. Of course, a black steering wheel, black seat belts, and we'll do some chrome buckles on there too. Alrighty, moving on. Alrighty, so we've got our driver masked. So, what I'll do first, I've got some black in the airbrush, a bit of Proline black, and a bit of reducer, about 50 50 mix. Um, so, I'll paint the seat first at the back behind his helmet. And uh, then what I'll try to do is I'll take the mask off and just run a fine line around the edge Just so it looks like there's a bit of a shadow between the uh, the helmet and the seat So I'll get some uh, Got the airbrush on low pressure I didn't actually look at the gauge, but I think it's around 10 pounds <laughs> So I'll just give it a couple of coats on the um, I'm gonna push the tape down first 
I reckon it's going to bleed through there because it's only just touching. Anyway, we'll see how we go. But I'll give it a couple of coats on the seat and we'll go from there. So that'll do first off. We'll uh, let that dry for a minute and give it another coat. Alrighty, been a couple of minutes. Give it a bit of a, another coat. Could be a small amount of uh, moisture coming through the airbrush, I think. I've cleaned the air trap, but you know, it doesn't always work. Yeah, we'll give it a bit more. So now I'm just blowing air at it to make it dry a bit better. Masking's starting to lift there a bit. <laughs> so I'll let that dry for a minute and I'll come back. I'll have to get into that spot down the bottom a little bit better. As you can see, the yeah, air's starting to push the paint away. So what I'll probably do is hit it from a distance, just let the paint flow in there, like the the, uh, the spray. Uh, it's not quite dry yet, but I added a bit more paint with a lot less reducer, so it's quite thick. Alrighty, starting to bleed through there, so I'll go and give it a good dry in front of the heat. Now, as you can see, I've got to clean this black here that leaked through the uh, masking. <laughs> and I actually got it a bit close to the heater. <laughs> so it's wrinkled it there. It's not on the main part of the body, so it should be good. I think it actually looks like it's meant to be that way. Anyway, so I'll clean this back. I'll take the masking off and clean this back here a little bit, because it's a little bit too high up the helmet. And um, we'll try and make a little shadow around the edge there. And while I'm at it, I might unmask this here so I can uh, do the shadow around his neck. And of course, we've got to try not to take that masking off over the visor there. Because that's kind of a pain to get in there. So instead of using the paint remover or body cleaner, I'll just use some of the reducer of the uh, the Proline reducer for the airbrush. Might have quite a bit on there, I think. Might not even uh, use the airbrush. I notice with this, it softens the edges quite a bit, so. Maybe I'll just run this down the edge. And that'll be a shadow. Doesn't need to be too perfect, of course, because it's going to be inside a body. I reckon that'll do. I'm not going to get it any better with the airbrush. <clears throat> now I need to paint red in here, of course. So that's why I haven't done the visor yet. It's actually, you know, it's a, a real pain to try and mask around the edge of that. So I figured I'd, uh, you know, mask this, paint the red. And then peel that off, paint the black. Give that a bit of a clean in there. And that's pretty much it. Red in the airbrush. I've cleaned up the edge around there. As good as it probably needs to be. <laughs> so we'll do a few light coats of red. That'll do for now. We'll just do light coats over and over until it's finished. Mm -hmm. 
Now this is the last coat of red. Uh, then I'm going to put either white behind it or uh, silver or aluminium colour because I've got to do the visor black so when I peel the mask off the inside and paint the visor black basically the helmet's going to go dark as well so we need to seal that with either a white or a silver or something. So I'll get this last coat on and change colours. That'll do. Alrighty, so all the coats of red are finally done. Now I've got some uh, Proline Aluminium. Now I just I put it in the airbrush. I didn't bother cleaning it, so there's still a little bit of red in there. That's okay. I found it's a very heavy metallic. Um, so I turned the pressure up, running about 30 pounds now. Anyway, so I'll do a couple of light coats on there and uh, see if it seals it nicely. Or just do one heavy coat, whatever. <laughs> it's having trouble spraying at the moment. It needs more pressure or probably a different airbrush actually. This metallic's very heavy, so I probably should have used the other airbrush. So try and dry that off a bit with air, hit it again. So I'll go and give that a quick dry under the heater and come back. Alrighty, back for another coat. Uh, now the reason I'm using this stuff is because I don't have straight silver. I would have used straight silver, would have been much better, but you know, kind of use what I got. I'll have to do I think because it's starting to bleed through righty got the masking off here got some black in the airbrush with some uh, reducer so carefully lay some black in there Alrighty, added a bit more paint because there was just too much reducer in it, making it look watery. Yeah, it's getting there. One more coat and I think it's done. Alrighty, last coat. And that's it. Now what I'm going to do is the uh, belt buckles. And I'm going to use Tamiya X11 Chrome Silver, which is actually, uh, it's enamel paint. But that's pretty much the closest thing I've got. Don't have acrylic um, and the Proline paint, so I don't have the right silver. So such a small amount, it'll be fine. So we'll just uh, give it a go. Now I'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot of cleaning up to be... Uh, done around these because I can't even see what I'm doing. Not perfect. Gonna have to do a lot of cleaning on that. Alrighty, time to get onto the uh, the belts there. Uh, got me a couple of drops of black, and because I can't see what I'm doing, I've marked the outside with the marker there. So I'll uh, give it a go. Probably need a couple of coats.
Yeah, as you can see, I think the uh, Proline paint doesn't really like being brushed on. It's going all weird. Uh, anyway, I'll just give it more coats, let it dry. Just, I guess I'll just give it light coats and build it up. Alrighty. Okay, so after several more coats, needs a bit of cleaning up around the edges, of course. Um, yeah, got the belts done. Because it doesn't like being brushed on, you got to kind of dab it around the edges, you know. Um, not happy with that, but yeah, I'll clean the edges up with a bit of uh, reducer. And then we can get on to painting the blue on the, uh, the racing suit. And I've also added the uh, the lines where his uh, gloves meet the, the suit. And a bit of a belt down the front there. I'll blow that in a little bit if I can. Probably need another coat, but the lines are there. <laughs> Now, after doing a few details, like the uh, the driver's fingers and so on, uh, and a bit of the, the racing suit there, got a, got a bit of black in the airbrush there with some uh, reducer airbrush on, about 10 pounds. So I'm just going to go around the bottom here and shadow it with black and up there, and both sides. Maybe a little bit more down the middle. Naturally, it doesn't want to spray properly now. <laughs> doesn't need much at all. Give it a bit more pressure. Yeah, 20 pounds. Alrighty, so after doing some more shading and more shading, I think we're pretty right to go the blue. So I've mixed up my own batch of blue here. I've got some uh, Proline blue, which you can see is reasonably dark. Well, it's like a mid blue, but I wanted it lighter, so I added, you know, quite a bit of white. I figure, um, you know, because it's got this shadowing on it, it's going to come up darker anyway. So we'll give it a, a few light coats and see how she goes.
And that'll do for now. I'll let that dry and I'll come back. Alrighty, so I added some, uh, a little bit more blue and a bit of black in there to make it darker. Idea being so I can go across these shadowed kind of areas. Um, I probably should have done it first. Oh well, whatever. But yeah, I'll give them a bit of a run over and then, then I'll make the colour light blue again and go over the whole lot. Now empty this out and uh, put some lighter blue in there. Alrighty, got some much lighter blue now. You'll notice here I've lost a bit of definition around the belts because of the shading, but ah yeah, well, it'll be right. <laughs> I'll let that dry and I'll give it a couple more coats. So it's going to look something like that. Oh, missed a bit there. So yeah, it's going to look something like that. Alrighty. So I'll give it, give it a couple more coats and then I'll pack all this away and we'll be ready to put the car together and put the decals on it. So I've got the wiring tidied up now, fixed up that servo horn there that was a little bit um, large. <laughs> Tied the wiring up, mounted the uh, receiver with double sided tape and uh, got the antenna wire on the uh, little bobbin there and uh, linked it up to the, the aerial base like it should be and extended the motor wires. Also the little bobbin for the aerial wire, I've uh, cable tied it to the body mount just so it's not floating around inside the car. Alrighty, now we can put it together. And there it is guys, all finished, <laughs> finally. Took quite a while. Um, the only main problem I had was the uh, the sticker on the rear wing. It's got a couple little splits around the uh, screw holes now, because I followed the manual, as you do. And uh, I didn't have a box to go by. Um, anyway, put the, the decals on as per the uh, instructions there. And basically it's got the, as you can see, the dark area, you would assume is the red. They've got it going down the bottom there. Turns out that's wrong, because when you turn the cover over. <laughs> anyway, so I had to peel that off, put it back on, and yeah. So of course the screw holes didn't line up again. Ah well, whatever. <laughs> I do have some MCI stickers there, I've told the owner, you know, I can swap it over if he wants, whatever. I think he's pretty happy with it though. Anyway, uh, that's it for this video. Um, so yeah, I'll have to get myself one of these to go with the uh, Cosmo and Icarus. Anyway, uh, if you're new here, subscribe, that'd be awesome. 
Um, leave a thumb up if you like the video and catch you on the next one.